Mark Philippoussis, the SCUD. Great to have you with us up here at Lavazza, and thanks for having a chat with us. No, thank you for having me. It's a beautiful setup and um, some nice coffee too. It's perfect. <laughs> Always helps. What's your memories of starting with coffee as a kid? Growing up as a kid, you know, it was, it was hot chocolate. I, my, it started off as coffee as, as I would have a shot, I had espresso before going on for my matches. Right. Yeah, so that would kind of give me that that kick yep. um, that I needed yeah, kind of to wake me up. I mean, that's strong stuff. Yeah, strong stuff, but I, I, you know, just had a little bit of it, just yeah. enough to get through the system. And honestly, within the last three years, I would say it's real. I've, I want to say I've definitely become maybe a little bit of a coffee snob. Okay. I actually probably have three coffees a day. Yep. Probably two in the morning, and I actually have one before I go to bed. And it, I don't, I, I go to sleep no problem. Really? Yeah. So. And for me, it's kind of, instead of tea, I'll have a coffee before I go to sleep. We love you here in Melbourne, of course, a Melbourne boy. Is it great to be back at Melbourne Park every year? Always. I came here when this was first open. I think I was 14 years old. I just started training here. Um, there's been a lot of changes. Every time I come back, I'm blown away mm. and how good this place gets. You know, it, it's, it's so far ahead of any other Grand Slam as far as what they've got to offer. Um, it's every player's favorite. That's why it's called the Happy Slam. Yeah. Everyone's so happy to be here. The first time you walk in here as a 14 year old, did you have kind of any idea that the next few years of your life are going to be as big as they were? You're going to be playing in finals, you're going to be playing you know, against some of the best of all time. Like, did you have any feeling of that? Or were you just a kid going, what if? No, I mean, that's what I dreamed about. That's what I envisioned. That's what it's all about, right? No matter what you do in your life, whether it's in being an athlete or a businessman, you envision the future, the life you want for yourself. And for me, he was playing at all the Grand Slams, of course, Melbourne especially. Um, of course, besides playing on the center court of, Grand, uh, of Wimbledon uh, on grass, because my favorite service was grass, it was very special. But I remember the classic um, Cash and Wheelander final, you know what I mean? Uh, and just the atmosphere and coming here and watching him walking through the grounds and, and you know, one day, visualizing and hoping that it's me on the practice court, it's me on the center court and, 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 and sign those autographs, the kids are, are calling out your name. Obviously two Grand Slam finals, one against your countrymen in Rafter. What are your memories of both individuals? Obviously you loved playing on grass and one you played against a countryman. Well the first one, I, uh, just, I was 21 years old I think and um, it was the first one and you're always going to be incredibly nervous. And I think it made it even tougher the fact of playing Pat in the final to be honest with you. Um, we were all, you know, played doubles, Davis Cup teammates, Aussies, two Aussies, and it made it tough. And I was, in, I just came out so nervous, you know, I was so nervous and had a late start and came back and had chances to, to take, to be up two sets to one, um, and then ran out of steam. But, um, I mean, incredible experience because it was the first year where they actually created that after Rush Stadium, the new stadium, and it was packed and it was huge. So the atmosphere was amazing. It really was. Well, mate, you're loved, you're remembered very fondly, and we love having a coffee with you, so thanks for chatting with us. Thank you for having me.